Good morning, Mumpity, and welcome back to my channel. And happy Monday. I actually started my Monday by cancelling my gym class. <laughs> I made myself my morning coffee because I was up a little bit later this morning and I cancelled my gym class because oh my goodness me does my entire body ache. We actually spent the entire weekend out in the garden and I could not tell you the last time I've done that much like physical activity for that long a period of time. My back aches, my arms ache, my shoulders ache. I feel like I've never used my arms that much in my entire life. I was actually pressure washing the patio yesterday and it's got a lot of kickback. Let me tell you, I ended up with triple the amount of freckles that I usually have, which actually, because it's been winter, I don't really have any freckles at the moment. My glasses were literally spattered. They were covered in mud. It was not really a vibe, but we really wanted to just start work on at the garden and we ended up spending the entire weekend hacking away some like old brambles. The garden that we have is a really lovely size. It's like very much a country cottage garden. Not huge, about the same size as what we had before, but I feel like it's just such a perfect like little space that I'm gonna be able to create such a sanctuary. But I do say we're gonna have to create that sanctuary because um, it's been left in a little bit of a disarray, which is a bit of a shame, um, but I just think the previous, I'm gonna call them the previous custodians, because I feel like that's a really great term when you have, especially like an older property, rather than being like the previous owners, the previous custodians of this house, if you don't know what custodian is. It's usually referred to, like if you like Downton Abbey, that's basically what they are. They refer to themselves as the custodians of Downton Abbey. They don't own Downton Abbey. They're not like the owners of Downton Abbey. They're the custodians of Downton Abbey, which basically means you are in charge of looking after this house. You're in charge of maintaining this house, keeping it running, keeping it going, basically for the next generation. And I feel like this is a house that like, we really want to restore back to what it was and we really want to like bring back to life. So. As the current custodians, we are doing everything that we can to basically restore the garden to what it was because there's like a lot where brambles have taken over um, and I feel like it's a garden that has so much potential and I'm not really showing you it yet because I want to do a bit of work before we show it to you before it is looking um, a bit more presentable and a bit more... YouTube worthy essentially. Um, so we were out in the garden yesterday, Alex was hacking away brambles, which were literally like this thick. They were absolutely insane. And one thing that if you're wondering like why we're hacking away brambles, they are so bad for other plants. There was one and I, it broke my heart because we ended up having to say goodbye to it and dig it out. We have no idea what it was, some kind of bush, some kind of tree, some kind of beautiful plant that had been completely taken over with brambles. So we did lots of trips to the um, waste center with lots of garden bits. And um, thank goodness for the Range Rover because otherwise I don't know how we'd do it. I don't know how people with like normal cars, if we both had a Fiat, I don't know how we would be able to get everything out to the garden waste center and like actually take things away because we filled the Range Rover twice. That is a big car let me tell you so thank goodness for that car um we had lots of trips got rid of a lot of garden waste but i feel like we've only just scratched the surface but it is safe to say that i am exhausted after that but we have big plans for the garden like really really big plans we just want to make it a beautiful sanctuary and i do feel like the garden we had before because obviously it was rented like i wasn't able to do a huge amount i had my veg truck i had lots of pots i was able to put some things in the border but I feel like this garden we are just going to transform and I cannot wait. We do actually want to do it this year. I was talking to Alex about this and I was like, do we wait? Do we do the garden next year? Do we just kind of like live with it? And he was like, no, no. We love our garden and as soon as summer hits, we're going to be so grateful that we've put this work into it now. Um, so yes, pressure wash the patio this week and then next weekend we'll be grouting it, I believe is what it's called, grouting or sealing. I can't remember. Basically, I need to put in the cement in between the stones, which I can show you that actually. I might show you a couple of little bits out in the garden. Weather is not quite spring weathering today, so I do apologize that I feel like nothing is gonna look its best in this weather, but I thought I would just show you a couple of little bits, because as I said, I haven't really shown you anything yet because I just want it to get to a point where we're a bit more proud of how it is looking. But one thing I really wanna do as well this year, I do think I will head to the garden center sometime soon and look into this, but I would love to do 
a climber behind us, like going up, I'm thinking between the patio doors um, and the kitchen window, I think a climber would be amazing to go up here. I'm either thinking honeysuckle or jasmine would be amazing. A lot of you guys have asked me about whether I'm gonna do a wisteria in this garden like we used to have in the old garden. But to tell you the honest truth, it was so difficult to train. The wisteria was so like badly behaved and I do find for nine months out the year it looks very twiggy. So I'm undecided whether I want to do a wisteria, but I definitely want to do a climber. I also want to get rid of this. If you've seen this poking out from the window in the kitchen, this used to be a basketball hoop from the previous custodians. They had kids and it was very much like a kiddie garden. I remember when we viewed this property, there was like a trampoline in the garden. There was a little basketball hoop there. So we need to take that down, but we need to get like the correct filler because obviously we don't want holes in the brickwork of the kitchen. Um, but yeah, if you're wondering like, what is that scaffolding outside the kitchen window? It used to be a basketball hoop, but let me show you my patio, which I feel like it's gotta look worse before it looks better, but we've gotten rid of all of the moss and all of the weeds that were between the patio um, stones. So it's looking so much better now. I'm not gonna lie, this is such a big patio that we have like it literally continues all the way around here and like laps around the garden, which is amazing, but it was completely overrun by weeds and this was completely full of moss. So I basically pressure washed the entire thing. I pressure washed the stones, which have come up so, so well. You should have seen the color they were before. They were like literally black before um, with like moss, with mold, with so much that had like built up on them. So I've washed in between the um, like stones and then I'm gonna re point or regrow. I don't know what the exact terminology is. We're gonna watch some YouTube videos and I'm gonna see if I can do it myself. Um, but, and then we can just get that all filled in and that is looking so much better already. As I said, it's not looking like amazing because I know it's gotta look worse before it looks better. It got to a point where I was ready to cry because I looked at Alex and I was like, why does this look so bad when I was in the middle of pressure washing? But thank goodness, it definitely has come out so much better than I was expecting. Um, it's still very much, you know, an old country cottage patio, which I really, really love. You know, it's never gonna look brand new, but that is something I do actually love. And I think it really works with regards to the farmhouse, you know, style that we have. One thing that we have in abundance in this garden is snowdrops. They are literally taking over the flower beds. I do wanna create a beautiful herbaceous border. So I think a lot of this is probably gonna get dug out, um, but they are the most beautiful snowdrops. It's so lovely just to see a little bit of color because other than that, it's still looking very wintry in the garden. I say that it's nice to see a pop of color, but actually we have the most beautiful is it Cornelia bush, I believe, in this garden that is giving us the most stunning, pink, vibrant pot, which is absolutely beautiful. It's not a bush I would have thought to have planted, but I do absolutely love it. I believe these flower for quite a long time in spring and summer as well, which is really, really nice. But one thing I would love to do is maybe just crop, like cut it down a little bit here so it looks more like a tree than a bush. I saw someone on TikTok that had done that and they basically hacked down at the bottom. So you just saw the trunk and then it just had the most beautiful tree-like shape. I I think I want to do that and just make it a little bit more kind of like neat and tidy and a little bit more shapely because it's a beautiful bush but it's definitely been let to left to grow left to go a little bit wild um I also definitely want to paint the fence panels because this gray it's not really a vibe I'm thinking a beautiful dark oak would be absolutely stunning I am not gonna lie I am so excited to see this hydrangea come into bloom because I'm really excited to see what color it is if you guys watch my moving vlogs I think I actually showed this to you when we first moved in and there was actually the tiniest little buds and now it really is starting to come up so I think May June time we'll be able to see exactly what color this is as well as this bush beside it I have no idea what this is but we're starting to see a few buds there so I'm really excited to see what's going to be coming up as I said we have a lot that we want to change but I'm excited to see what's already here and see what we can kind of like work with so that we don't have to completely start again with regards to this garden one thing though that I don't know if you will have ever spotted this out of the kitchen window if you ever would have been able to see this but this is something that I'm not gonna lie breaks our heart that the previous custodians did and that is chop down this i can't even tell you how old tree oh my word it breaks my heart because this is huge i look at the size of it compared to my hand this must have been a good 200 years old i reckon this tree and we have a lot of trees around us which is lovely and we love having like big old oak trees i mean it would have been amazing to have had this in the garden the only reason i can think as to why they must have cut it down is because as you can see this angle it is leaning so so badly so i'm assuming it was actually a risk and that maybe it was at risk of like falling down maybe it was like infected or something i'm hoping it was a good reason because Oh my word, it breaks our heart that this is just sitting back here. As you can see, it is trying to grow back, which honestly, this is just what amazes me about nature. It is literally grown again, right behind the old 
I don't even know if I can call this a um a stump because it's the tallest stump ever it's almost the height of me this trunk that was left behind there's a new one growing beside it which I honestly I just think is the most amazing thing in the world but um yeah it breaks our heart that this tree was cut down we're gonna have to do something with this space we, we definitely think we can create like a lovely space here but this is very much going to take a tree surgeon to get rid of because Alex did try <laughs> you might be able to see here giving it a little chop to see if he'd be able to get rid of it and that is definitely a no go but it does break a heart that this was cut down by the crew previous custodians as I said I'm hoping it was for a good reason but how amazing would have this been to have had in our garden but nonetheless we're still going to be able to plant our own trees we definitely want to plant a tree here in this garden um, and watch it grow over the years I just think is so so magical like an apple tree or a cherry blossom tree I think would be amazing um but yeah this does this does break my heart I'm not gonna lie to you I love it when we're outside chatting in the garden and all you can hear is the bird song the birds just twittering away the pigeons cooing the birds tweeting away that is just the soundtrack of the new forest and it is my absolute favorite thing so yes as i said quite a small country cottage garden but a garden that i feel like we can just do so much with we have so many plans for it so i'm really really excited to see them coming into fruition as i said it's gonna look worse before it looks better and especially because it's a bit of a soggy day today i feel like it is not looking its best but we're gonna get it there we are so excited to get it there and just put our own stamp on it create a beautiful sanctuary to be in because you know what we're like as soon as summer hits those patio doors will be open and we will just it's like another room in your house we just spend so much time outside in our garden we absolutely love being there so yes work has started on the garden weekends are being filled with pressure washing grouting cutting back and just getting to grips with making the garden into exactly what we want it to be and just putting our own stamp and I'm so excited to see what a transformation I feel like is going to happen out there and I can't wait to show you a little bit more once it starts looking a little bit better I feel like as soon as we start getting into spring as well and the weather warms up and it's not as soggy and it's not as wet things start to look a lot better then as well and being able to see what's going to come into bloom the like really established plants that are already there I'm so so excited to like learn more about this garden I just think it's going to be such a journey short girl problems having to sit in the Range Rover after Alex has driven it I literally have to sit here for about five minutes whilst it adjusts to my settings but we're in the car now because I want to do a bit of shopping I am really in the mood to head to HomeSense I just want to add in a few nice little decor pieces things that I feel like will make a big difference I always say this it's the little things that make the biggest difference and I just want to add a bit more cozy vibes into the house at the moment I'm not really feeling the cozy vibes in the house especially as much as like we felt them in the old house I think we partially felt them in the old house because it was so much smaller so it was a lot fuller in terms of like space so it's quite easy to feel cozy when there's like a lot of things surrounding you but especially because I'm like changing up um kind of color schemes I'm changing up like the vibe of things I feel like I just want to get a bit of inspo so we're gonna head to home sense and fingers crossed I don't literally break the bank and make Alex really mad just gonna find a couple of nice pieces I feel like I just want to find a couple of nice bits to add into the house just that can make make quite a big difference as I said it's the little things that make the biggest difference so let's get going we have arrived to the mothership the best home sense in my opinion this is the home sense in hedge end just outside of southampton and it is huge so let's head inside and see what we can find you know you're getting old when you start to get excited over crockery but how adorable are these plates this pattern is the cutest i love these bowls as well very cute very botanical i feel like i'm really starting to show my age here that these are the things that excite me now in the middle section always just has the best furniture i mean look at how beautiful this marble side table is that is stunning very modern so not quite my vibe but i quite like this little bobbin shelving unit it's very sweet it's a shame it's gray if it was white i might consider it for the bathroom i'm not the biggest fan of the gray but i always love checking out the furniture that they've got in the middle aisle oh my gosh if you're as obsessed with stripes as i am a little stripe individual sofa oh my gosh this is just the cutest little accent chair so summery i love the like linen striped gray and white vibe that is the cutest damaged but adorable same one 
practicing. <laughs> I've been thinking about getting a little poof um, to put in our bedroom, just for a little bit of added kind of like comfort. I feel like it's a little bit empty at the moment. And this is why I love HomeSense, because I was having a look online at some and they are hundreds, like literally hundreds. This gorgeous bouquet one, 99.99. What an amazing price. This is really cute. And I do think that would look really nice in our bedroom. It's a little bit low for what I was looking for. And I was hoping to get one with a bit of storage inside as well. Oh my gosh, these cushions. <gasps> I am so tempted by them. They are huge. I honestly can't explain to you the size of them. The most beautiful like linen and green vibe. I've already ordered some more cushions for the sofa. If I hadn't, I would pick these up right now. I might text Alex just with a question mark thoughts. <laughs> I must admit, I think for me, the best items to pick up at HomeSense is artwork to add into your new home because they just have the most beautiful individual artwork. Pretty much all of my favorite pieces, the pieces that I get asked the most about my ballerina, the big canvas print I used to have in my office, and my saxophonist, it's all come from HomeSense and their prices are actually really reasonable as well. I mean, the size of this, and it's only 60 pounds. So if you're someone that you love art, but you're not really an art snob, you don't really know the best place to go to look for like beautiful unique individual pieces you just want something a little bit different i would definitely recommend checking out home sense because i mean look at the size of this canvas it's huge i do think it's just the best place to come to to find beautiful artwork for your home oh my gosh these are absolutely adorable little oval pieces we've got a little hair there we've got a little horsey oh my gosh should i get this big tree is it almost like apology to our old tree that <laughs> the previous custodians cut down that is beautiful. I do love that. I mean, the frame is stunning. It's like this kind of oaky vibe that is gorgeous. Well, so we've got a little horsey again. Oh my gosh, so many gorgeous prints. Oh, now this is going to be hard to leave behind. The most beautiful vintage inspired drinks trolley. Wow, it's got the most beautiful like bronzy um, detailing to it, mahogany wood. It's from the um, Passport to India range, which I do love. We have quite a few pieces actually from the Passport to India. I'm pretty sure Passport to India is where my dressing table is from. I do love the range. They have some beautiful like wooden pieces but oh, this is gonna be really hard to leave behind because that is beautiful. Well, I think it is safe to say that that was a rather successful trip. I did leave behind the drinks trolley because I feel like Alex would kill me if I bought that because we're not really focusing on the kitchen right now. I'm really trying to focus room by room so as not to overwhelm ourselves too much. I've actually spent the entire weekend mood boarding, which I feel like has helped a lot. I've created a mood board for our bedroom and and for our living room because I do actually have a few updates that are coming for the bedroom as well. I placed a couple of orders last week that should be arriving really, really soon, which I am so excited about because I feel like it's just going to make such a difference. Um, but that being said, I did buy something for the kitchen, which I wasn't intending, but I thought, you know what, this is just the tiniest little addition and I don't think Alex is going to get mad at me for these because I do feel like I need to change out our little hand towel, our little tea towel in the kitchen because it's very wintry. It's red, it's checkered, very much giving Christmas vibes and I wanted something a bit more spring like so I spotted these I got a set of two because I always like to have two so that when one's in the wash the other one it can be swapped over because I wash my towels a lot it's something that I would love to know how often do you wash your towels in terms of like our actual like um bath towels shower towels for me that's just once a week and I do feel like fresh towel day is as good as fresh sheet day in my opinion there is nothing better than drying yourself with a fresh towel washed your hair shaved your legs drying yourself with a fresh towel that is literally heaven to me. But hand towels, I will wash at least twice a week because I just feel like they have like a lot of use. And a lot of people feel like you don't need to wash them as much because they're like, you're literally just using clean hands to dry them. But I feel like because they're wet and then they dry and then they're wet and then they dry, I just don't feel like that's the most hygienic. So let me know, how often do you wash your towels? But it just means when I have one in the wash, I can use the other one. And I just thought the little brown gingham was really, really cute, really giving me spring vibes. And I thought that would go really nicely in the kitchen. I then picked up a new lampshade, which I thought this was really, really cute. I must admit, I feel like Home Sense is one of the best places to go for lamps and lampshades. They had so many beautiful lamps. The Ralph Lauren Home ones, I feel like I've seen it there for months. I was really tempted to get them a couple of months ago but 
I just don't really feel like that oriental style is like really our vibe and it's not exactly very like farmhouse vibe either so I'm glad I didn't get them but they are beautiful if you're looking for like a real statement lamp I would definitely recommend but I just wanted a lamp for my office upstairs I'll probably end up changing the light properly when I do my full dressing room I keep calling it an office I need to stop calling it an office because it's not actually an office I don't sit in there and work my dressing room or my filming studio or my walk-in wardrobe space whatever you want to call it I'll probably replace the full light um, fixture when I like redo it but for now I just needed something nice and linen that would go really really well so i saw this and it was literally 19.99 so super affordable and i really liked the scallop edge and then the last thing that i picked up which i'm pretty sure was literally on my mood board because i saw this and i was like i feel like i recognize you i feel like i've seen you before but a cute little print that i wanted to put upstairs in our bedroom it's botanical but not floral i feel like the thing i've learned with alex is he does like botanical prints but he doesn't like it to be granny-ish he always says this to me like a lot of the prints that i like he's like that's very floral that's very grandma like and i'm like fair enough you know i want to make sure that we're both happy with our space so i feel like with alex the thing i've learned is to go botanical not floral and to go for those more like classic prints so i thought this would be quite nice because i do feel like we're missing some artwork up in our bedroom so i thought that would look really really lovely and i'm pretty sure i added this exact piece to my mood board so hopefully that will help with regards to just like a bit more of those finishing touches upstairs because as i say the little touches are what makes the biggest difference so i thought that was really really lovely and that was only 19.99 so i would definitely recommend checking out home sets if you are looking for some artwork obviously it's hit or miss it's the kind of thing where you can come away with nothing you can come away with loads of pieces i would love to get like a huge print above our sofa but it's something where both Alex and I are in agreement we're not gonna settle. I found this really gorgeous piece of artwork, which I did actually add to the mood board, but they didn't do it in a big enough size and it has to be right. I'm not just gonna put something there in the space to like fill the space just for filling the, the space's sake. That's a tongue twister. Just for filling the space's sake. So I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna leave it blank until we find the perfect piece. But if I just keep going back to Home Sense and seeing what they've got, and hopefully the perfect piece will eventually come up. If not, I can find it on Etsy. I can find something online. If you know any amazing like art dealers that aren't gonna break the bank, do let me know because I would love to discover some new artists that create some really beautiful like landscapes and beautiful oil paintings. I think would be amazing. But if you're looking for some gorgeous art on a budget, Home Sense is the place to shop. Good morning from a rather happy little bean this morning. I had some rather exciting deliveries arrive yesterday afternoon after my home sense trip yesterday. I basically just spent the rest of the day on my laptop doing some admin, doing some work bits, but also scouring the internet for just a few more updates. And as I mentioned yesterday, I'm really trying to hone my focus i think is the best way because i am someone that like i can literally have like a million jobs going at once i feel like it's part of being an influencer because you need to have like 10 plates spinning at once obviously youtube needs to be updated tiktok needs to be filmed instagram needs to be done um the newsletter the blog like there is always so much going on so i feel like it's part and parcel of my job um but also i do remember my old job that i used to have actually i was a content creator and social media manager and i do remember one of the things my manager used to always say is people often don't cope in this role if they can't handle not working in a linear way and he would always say he'd always go if you want to go in house if you want more linear everyone will understand like to other people that would maybe like leave the company or like move on or things like that and I do remember there was one girl actually who moved on and the main thing my manager kept saying was she just couldn't cope it was just wasn't linear enough she just couldn't cope and I feel like because of the job that I do I'm very used to things being like all go at the same time so i'm trying to make the house process a bit more linear basically um so i'm really honing my focus and i'm creating mood boards for every single room so far i've created two mood boards i've created the bedroom and i've created our living room what i might do actually i'm gonna pop it there so that you can see the mood board for our bedroom because i am very much keeping a lot of the same vibe and a lot of the same furniture from the old house but i'm tweaking it i'm updating it i'm making it a bit more in synergy with the rest of this house one thing that's really important to me with regards to our bedroom is that, is that it's a really calm space to be in i want our bedroom to be somewhere where we come in the evening heading to bed and you just you know what i mean i don't want it to be packed i don't want it to be maximalist i don't want it to have a lot of stuff i just want it to be a really really lovely space to be in so i've gone for a lot of calming tones there's a lot of grays a lot of beiges a lot of white and it was very gray in our old bedroom we had gray walls 
and I really leaned into that whereas I kind of want to like switch it up ever so slightly I do love the grey tones but I do feel like this is a much more like warm toned house and especially with the colour we've got on the walls I feel like bringing in those warmer beiges those warmer tones just works so so well with this room so in terms of the furniture all of the furniture has stayed the same our bed has stayed the same our uh, dressing tables have stayed the same our bedside tables have stayed the same mirror has stayed the same so I've brought in a lot of what we used to have in the old house. Like I feel like I'm really able to like reuse those pieces, but it's quite nice to have a few things that I want to update as well. For example, we're gonna be doing a built-in wardrobe, for example, the artwork. And I feel like small furnishings, like soft furnishings are the best way to make an update. They're the best way to like change a vibe and like switch up a situation in quite, I would argue an affordable way because you're not switching up like an entire bed frame. Like I love our bed frame. It is actually really old, it's from, made.com but obviously made.com went into liquidation i think it's now owned by next but dusk have an almost identical one which i will leave linked down below if you do want to check it out i'll also link down below all of our furniture that you see in our bedroom because i do absolutely love it but i've just been making little tweaks here and there that as you can see from the mood board i have been adding into and i'm so so happy that i've done this because i feel like it's really helped me to kind of like zone my focus on each individual room and see how like the overall vibe looks which is like the main thing that i want to start focusing on is just the overall mood of a room the overall vibe of a room and this room is just all about that like calm tranquil space so i have a couple of updates to show you hey mtv and welcome to our crib <laughs> Who remembers MTV Cribs from like the early, early noughties I think it was? I used to love that show. MTV Cribs are my super sweet 16. Those were my after school guilty pleasures when I was like a teenager. Teenager, I used to absolutely love that. If that's not showing my age, I don't know what is. But as you can see, it's vastly the majority of it looking the same. But a couple of little tweaks and a couple of little updates that I feel like are just making the world of difference i'm not joking when i said it. yesterday when they arrived i ripped open the packaging and chucked them straight on i was just so excited to style them up and see how they looked because sometimes when you mood board things it doesn't always come out the same way in like reality so i was so happy to see that they came out in my opinion actually better than how the mood board looked i am so so happy with the vibe going on in here it is just calm it is tranquil it is such a lovely space to come to so the big changes are the cushions cushions not pillows on our bed which i am just absolutely obsessed with as i said i really wanted to lean into those warmer tones i feel like i'm just over the gray it just looked a little bit too cool toned compared to the rest of the house and as much as you don't need your whole house to match i like there to be synergy running from room to room and i feel like bringing in those warmer tones really brings in the synergy into the house and my new cushions i am just in love with i discovered this brand it's a beautiful small business called Autumn Me Home and she does the most beautiful cushions. She does some really cute little like decorations for like Easter and things like that. Um, she does tablecloths, linens. She even has a beautiful dress on her website and she's actually been kind enough to offer me a 15% off discount code for you guys, which I did buy these cushions myself, but it's so, so kind of her to have offered you a discount. So if you want 15% off at Ultimate Me Home, use the code Ellie15. I'm kind of tempted to use it myself. I'm not gonna lie to you you because i really want to order some more pieces it's only valid until the 31st of march so be quick because it's not going to be around for a long time it's literally just under a week as this video goes live if you do want anything but i can confirm her pieces are stunning now i wasn't sure whether to just go for the cushion cover or whether to go for the insert and i'm actually so glad i went for the insert as well it's not a huge price difference so i thought i may as well just try the insert and see what they look like and oh my gosh, they are such high quality. I love like a heavy pillow. Like, you know, when you like chuck it down and it has weight to it. That is what I love in my cushions. And this is just so, so beautiful. So she has so many gorgeous designs. I can't remember the name of this one that I went for, but I will leave it linked down below along to her website if you do want to check it out. But it's got the most beautiful look at these. It's like an artichoke print. I love it. So as I said, Alex loves botanical but not too floral so i'm really leaning into that with regards to our bedroom because i just want it to be a space that we both absolutely adore and it's got this really beautiful like beigey undertone to it but it's predominantly white which is what i really really like about it so i picked up two of those because i always love to have like a bit of a a tutu situation we've got two cushions each we've got one silk cushion each and then we've got one um oh, i keep getting them confused i'm so sorry 
pillows, silk pillowcases, and then the cushions, which I love. And then I've actually just brought this one up. This is quite old. I can't remember where it's from, but I know Oka do an almost identical version. So I will leave the Oka one linked down below, but it's a beautiful linen cushion with this little kind of trim to it. And I think it works so well with the Ultimate Home cushions. I absolutely love how they look. I also love it with our bedspread. We actually have it. Now, I'm not someone that irons my bedspread, so please excuse the fact that there are creases in it. Um, but it's got this like really subtle stripe to it, which I really, really like. And I feel like the cushions just work so, so, well with it they also work really well with the um headboard considering it's more of like a gray cooler toned headboard in fact i wouldn't say it's a cool tone i'd say it's a gray but it's like a warm tone gray in my opinion so i just think they work really really well and i quite like this setup where we just have three cushions and then we have a bedspread because it's quite easy in the mornings i'm someone that likes my bed to look nice but i am not going to spend 20 minutes every morning making the bed and alex certainly isn't either so this just takes two minutes fluff the sheets up pull it all tight, chuck the pillows on, chuck the bedspread on, and we are good to go. And speaking of the bedspread, oh my word, how stunning is this? I'm in love. I was really struggling actually with what bedspread to go for. I've actually ordered quite a few different ones that I've had to retire because they just haven't been quite the right tone. They haven't been quite the right color. So I eventually said, you know what, let's just go for white. And I know it's like very white, but I really, really love the juxtaposition between the pattern and the bed sheets. I think it works really, really well. So I actually picked this up from Next Home. And as you can see, it is botanical without being floral. We're really leaning in to that vibe and I'm just in love. This definitely needs an iron. You can see all the crease marks from where it's come out of the packaging because I literally unpackaged it yesterday, but I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't know where our iron is. We still have a few things that haven't quite been found since the move that I need to unbox unless Alex has like shoved it in a cupboard that I don't know where he's put it, so I might have to ask him where that is. But I am in love with this. It's a really beautiful one, actually. It's a lovely quilt because it's not too thick either, so I feel like it's a really nice one for spring, summer. I might change it up in autumn, winter, go for something a bit thicker, a bit more of like, almost like a patchwork quilt, I think would be beautiful, like a beigey patchwork quilt I would love, but that's very much like winter vibes, and I really wanted it to be a bit more springy, which I love. Well, now we don't actually sleep with this, I just take this off every single night, but it's super easy to, again, just fluff up. I've like pulled the sheets here now. Let me pull these and make that a bit straighter. Um, but it's super easy just to fluff up and make look pretty in the morning. And I absolutely love it. I also didn't realize quite how much it matches my new print from HomeSense. Now I've just put that there for now. It's obviously not gonna stay on the window. Where I would like it is up here. But Alex got home quite late from work last night and I didn't really feel like it was fair to me. Like, how was your day, darling? I'm so sorry I had so many meetings. Could you just come upstairs and hang a painting on the wall for me please so he's going to do it I think at the weekend but I just think it'll be really lovely there just to give a little something because I quite like not having any artwork over the bed I feel like keeping it nice and calm nice and tranquil maybe we could panel this room it is something that we have considered I think would be really really lovely but that would be something that we'll do way down the line that is not a priority right now I think just making it a nice calm space to be in is our top priority so I think just adding the print up there will be perfect and I really didn't realize how the leaves are the exact same. It looks so deliberate. I am absolutely in love with it. So my new space, I am just adoring. This isn't quite finished yet. Obviously the print needs to go on the wall and we do still have a couple of other updates. I've been planning how I want this room to look and feel and I really just want it to be so zen. So I want to hide this radiator. It also really annoys me. The radiator is not central. So as you can see from the bed, it's like a bit shifted. So when we put the TV up, Alex was like, do we put the TV central to the radiator? Or do we put the TV central to the wall and central to the bed? I was like, it has to be central to the bed. I'm not like twisting my neck to see the TV when we are in bed, which also, yes, we do need to trunk this wire. That's not exactly a vibe. But again, it is something that's going to happen. This is real life. This isn't Instagram. I could have unplugged that and pretended that we had like a lovely fitted plug behind there. But but it's not real life. And I like my vlogs to be as real as possible. Um, so yes, we did the TV to the wall, which also means that this just looks so uncentral. So I really want to order. I found the most beautiful radiator cover from B&Q, but it's not available on store, in on store, online or in store. So I currently have notifications turned on for it because that's the only one I want. Like I've seen so many others and the one from B&Q, which I'll pop a photo here of exactly the one I want. It was of course in my mood board as well, um, but I want that and then it's slightly longer than what this radiator is so I can basically have a gap that you wouldn't see so it will kind of like come over a little bit more we can add a bit more decor to that I think that might be quite nice and it's just so beautiful it's like a very vintagey inspired one which I really like because a lot of them are very like slatted or quite modern so I think that would be really really lovely because we don't exactly need the radiator like it will still come out through 
the radiator to cover the heat from the radiator um we have it turned down massively anyway because alex gets so hot at night he still uses his fan even in the depths of winter so um yeah i think that will make a really big difference and then also what's going to make a huge difference is this space here you will see this space a little bit in like um reels and like my river island hall but this currently is a big empty space and what we're planning on doing is a beautiful fitted wardrobe now when i say a fitted wardrobe i'm thinking of doing a bit of an ikea hack we've been watching lots of videos of people doing like DIY IKEA fitted wardrobes and the price like the amount of money you save and how well it looks I feel like will make such a huge difference to the space to make it look really built in I found the most beautiful wardrobe on IKEA it's like a paneled one which I think will be so so lovely and then we can make it look like properly fitted to this space and then i just think it will look so bespoke which i'm absolutely in love with and i feel like that will really help with the vibe of this as well i have to say my favorite thing about this wallpaper is how white looks next to it so i think beautiful white wardrobes will just finish this space off and really help with regards to like the coziness of this room because at the moment it's quite a big room it's quite vast and I feel like that was the thing that was one of the most intimidating things about this room when we first moved in here I was like wow this room is so much bigger than our old bedroom it looks really empty it looks not cozy at all it just looks like there's not enough in here but I don't want to just fill the space with stuff so I feel like just adding these little touches are what's going to make all the difference and also being okay with a lot of like empty space like we're gonna have so much empty space here which I'm like I could put a rug down I could put something no I'm just gonna leave it be because I think it's really really nice to have a lot of empty space so it'll be so nice to have those big fitted wardrobes and then we've got our ensuite in here and then my little outfit of the day mirror which obviously I don't show you because it's very backlit this is just our getting ready in the morning mirror but it's really handy obviously everyone needs a mirror in their bedroom but um yeah I think having the fitted wardrobes is going to make such a difference that's something that will be down the line we currently have um wardrobes in a room you've not actually seen yet that we're currently using for Alex's stuff that he's housing all of his bits in we've got the fourth bedroom which has these um built-in fitted wardrobes which is really handy that we can just use that for storage for now until we actually have our beautiful bespoke Ikea DIY fitted wardrobes done in our bedroom but I'm so happy with how it's looking I feel like my mood board really has just come to life and that's what just makes me so so happy so as I said I'll leave all of the furniture linked down below like our bed um um, our side tables our desk I do love our desk as well actually um again it's looking quite empty see what I mean Alex uses his fan every single day every night he has that fan on and I quite like the fact that it's for the first time ever actually his side of the bed is the side people don't see when they walk in because before we used to always have the door on the opposite end and people would always see his space first so I really like that it can just stay there and it's 99% hidden no one ever sees it um but yeah I do love our vanity I've just kept it again really really minimal all I've got on it is some beautiful flowers I've got a little Pandora jewellery box and of course our rediffuser um, and then I'll put the print up on the wall and I've got the most beautiful chair that I actually can't remember where I picked this up from I think it's French French furniture company French bedroom company potentially but I do absolutely love it and of course 99% of the time that chair is covered in clothes um, because it becomes the dumping chair but every bedroom has got to have one. Um, as I mentioned as well, when I was in HomeSense yesterday, the only thing I feel like I could is potentially missing is this is a bit of an empty space and we could put like a little poof in the corner, but I'm not gonna buy something unless it is literally the right one, unless it goes with this room perfectly. I want something like beautiful, maybe botanical, I think would be really, really lovely. Again, botanical, but not floral, I think would be beautiful, so. That's something that could go in the corner, but again, not something that is absolutely urgent. I feel like for me, the main urgent things are the radiator cover as soon as it comes back in stock, and then we can start to focus on the fitted wardrobes. So yeah, as I said, I feel like my mood board has come to life and it just makes me so, so happy looking at this room and just coming up to bed every night. It is like my zen, it is my sanctuary, and that is exactly what a bedroom should be. Oh my gosh, that view behind me just makes me so happy. I love how the cushions look. I feel like Ultimate Home just does such an amazing job. In fact, I think I might place another order with her because there's a couple that I've seen that I think would work really, really well with the living rooms. As I said, I've also been doing the mood board for the living room and I'm really enjoying those like greeny, earthy tones. There's a couple I've seen on her website that I might make the most of the discount with. So make sure to make the most of that discount for the 31st of March. It's also so lovely to shop from a small business as well. As much as it's really fun to like go to places like HomeSense, have a look at what they've got. I feel like it's so, so lovely to support smaller businesses, shop smaller and and I guess something that's a little bit more unique. Her pieces are so unique and so beautiful. So 
I will leave a link down below. Do you know what I've just realised actually? This is the exact view, this is the exact spot that we sat on the first day that we moved into this house and I did an unboxing here. And already things are changing, already things are updating and I feel like I'm really starting to like learn how each space works, like how I want each space to look and like the vibe that I wanna get from it. And I'm so excited to start adding those touches around the rest of the house. But as I know, we all talked about, it's really important to go room by room. And as much as we moved into this house and I just moved all the furniture in and I was like, yes, I love this room. It's so nice to have our bedroom set up to what it used to be. I actually think it's also really nice to just add a couple of little changes and make it like a bit of a different space because in every single house, your space is gonna be slightly different. And I feel like this bedroom is so different to the old bedroom we used to have. So despite the fact that we've got the same furniture despite the fact that I've got the same desk and the same bedside tables already it's starting to feel like such a different space and I can't wait to see how else it evolves and like what else we can add to it I feel like once those wardrobes go in it's gonna make such a huge difference but we haven't quite decided when exactly we're gonna be doing that but I thought this would be the perfect spot to sit down and do a bit of an unboxing because I had a very exciting PR parcel arrive this morning from one of my faves at Pixie and because it's just such a calm and tranquil room. I feel like it's the perfect space to like do beauty unboxings and like chat about skincare. And I just wanna utilize this space more with regards to filming as well. So I've very kindly been sent, ooh, the Wake Up and Glow set from Pixie. Unveil the secret to an effortlessly awakened and vibrant complexion with an invigorating mist, energizing sheet mask, and the ultimate under eye brightener. Ensure you start your day with confidence and embrace the glow inspiring magic of skincare. I love that Pixie were like one of the first brands to like encourage the glow. I remember that they started doing kind of like glowy products before it was really a thing. So it's so lovely to see how much the brand has evolved. So first up we have the Vitamin Makeup Mist. Now this sounds amazing, especially for like those early mornings when you're on the way to the gym. You know, and even when you do your usual morning skincare, your skin just feels a bit dull. I feel like this will be so, so perfect just to like energize yourself before you're going for like a workout. I might just add that straight into my gym bag. I love the look of that. We then have a face mask, which sounds perfect. I may have to run myself another bath tonight. I've had quite a few in the new house. I had one at the weekend actually after all of the gardening and it was so, so needed because my muscles and my bones were just aching and I with the bath here so i might have to run myself a bath tonight and use this eye mask the sun is like coming out in my eyes now so i'm sorry if i am squinting a little bit but i wasn't expecting it to be this sunny it's sitting in this spot but we really do get beautiful light here in this bedroom despite the fact that it's making me squinty mcgee but most beautiful vitamin c face mask and then the vitamin c under eye brightener which i don't I think I've tried this from Pixie. Vitamin in C under eye brightener in the shade Peach Flush. That sounds amazing. I cannot wait to give that a try, especially when I have my early morning starts going to the gym. <laughs> and getting my workouts in but i think we can all agree it's getting a little bit too sunny i think that's probably all i can show you from this unboxing but this space just makes me so so happy looking in the viewfinder and seeing the beautiful calm tranquil colors the inviting space oh this is just my dream bedroom i think it's safe to say i have planned and curated our dream bedroom here in the new house Okay, I promise I will stop going on, but just look at the sunshine that streams in to this space. Oh my word, it just makes me so happy. Well, after that lovely sunshine earlier, the sun has now all but been and gone. It is quite a few hours later, and I feel like you can tell by my sleepy eyes that I've spent the vast majority of my day at my laptop. And now it is time for my favorite part of the day. Makeup off, hair off my face, comfies on i feel like there's just nothing better i'm someone that loves more of an earlier skincare routine i don't like doing my skincare just before bed i feel like actually using the water wakes me up a little bit so when i do my skincare just before going to bed i feel like i'm like wide awake again and i'm not actually like settled and ready to kind of like start my circadian rhythm so for me as soon as i'm kind of done with the working day like before dinner i like to get my makeup off I like to get my skincare on. I like to get my skincare like dewing. Dewing is not the right word. Manifesting on my face. I like it to really soak in. And I realized just before I started doing my makeup, no, my skincare, wow, you can tell that I'm tired. I just can't make words. I can't make sentences. Words are not working. But I thought before I do my skincare routine, I realized this is actually another room that we have big plans for 
talking about plans for the house that I've not actually shown you yet. This is basically my bathroom. We have two like full bathrooms. We've got the ensuite and then we've got this bathroom um, and then like a third toilet, which is really, really handy to have because it means that when you've got guests and stuff like that, you're not having to share bathrooms. And it's very lovely when there's just two of you in the house because it basically means that you can kind of split your bathrooms. And I can't remember where I read this, but it was, I feel like it was someone's mum and they said the secret to a happy marriage is the same bed, different bathrooms. <laughs> and that is honestly so true because being able to just spread out, I mean, for me to be able to spread out my skincare routine, Alex likes to spread out his hair products, his aftershaves, like the fact that we can kind of just like let loose in our own bathrooms, it's so, so nice. And also it's great when you're both wanting to shower like after doing the gardening and we're both like, right, see you later. <laughs> I'm going for a full hair wash. I even had a bath later that evening. It is so, so nice just to have like my own space. So I'm basically calling this my bathroom, which is gonna be the guest bathroom whenever we have people stay over. But up until that point for 99% of the year, this is mine. So I need to start putting together a bit of a plan of what we want to do with this bathroom. We're not planning on doing anything too soon. This is definitely one of those rooms where we really want to just like live in it first and like see how the space works. Cause I do feel like, especially in this bathroom, there is so much wasted space. There's only a shower over the bath and there is definitely enough room for a bath, a walk-in shower, a toilet and a basin. I actually think there is enough room for a standalone bath, which is honestly my dream. A tubby tub would be I know I've made it in life if I managed to get myself a tubby tub. I would love for this room to be maybe a little bit more kind of like antique a bit older. And then I think in the ensuite, we can maybe go a little bit more modern because I do feel like the ensuite's very plain. So we're probably thinking about doing them at the same time or at least one after the other. So we always have one working bathroom, um, but doing up our ensuite and doing up the, this bathroom. There's nothing wrong with them. They're just very, very basic. There's just nothing really like to them in terms of like decor, in terms of like design. As you can see behind me, it's just like, these kind of like beige tiles and all of the appliances are just very standard. So there's nothing wrong with them, but we would love to have our own stamp because having only rented before, obviously we've only ever used rented bathrooms. They've always looked like this. It feels very exciting to be able to like let loose with a bathroom and actually make it a beautiful space to be in because I do spend a lot of time here doing my makeup, doing my skincare, showering, baths. Like I feel like the bathroom is actually quite an important space in a house that often gets forgotten about and often gets neglected. So this is a room I'm really excited about. So I would love it if you could send me some bathroom inspo because as much as I do want to go a bit antique I don't really have a vision for this room. I feel like every other room in the house, I'm like, yeah, I've got vision. I want the bedroom to be like really cozy and I want it to be really tranquil. I know what I want my dressing room to look like. I know what I want um, like the spare room to look like. I know what I want the living room to look like, the kitchen to look like. This room, I feel like it's quite a blank canvas. And as much as I say, I want it to look antique -y pretty much all I have in mind. I don't know whether I want like a full on farmhouse bathroom, if I want to do something maybe a bit more modern with like some marble, if I want gold accents, brass accents, silver accents, I have no idea. So if you have any inspo, let me know because I'm gonna need to start doing a bit of a mood board and I think a night on Pinterest is on the cards. I have to say when it comes to social media apps, Pinterest is one of those apps where I go through like love-hate relationships with it. Sometimes I don't use it at all. But when it comes to like finding inspiration, I feel like if you know what you want quite specifically, Pinterest is the place for you. If you like, you know you're looking for like spring out for inspo, Pinterest. If you know you're looking for like bathroom inspo, Pinterest, kitchen inspo, Pinterest, baking recipes, Pinterest. Like it's such a good place when you like know what you're looking for and it's very much like a slow social media app. So it's a great one just to like spend in the evening, having a little scroll through and just just enjoying being on social media and getting a bit of inspiration. Um, so yeah, this is a bathroom that we need to start planning. And to tell you the honest truth, I haven't even thought about it yet. I mean, we've not really been at the house all that long, so it's not as if it's one that I'm in a rush to do, but this is one that I do feel like when we do do it, the transformation is gonna be insane. I feel like this is gonna be a bathroom that's, it's just gonna change so drastically compared to when we first move in. So I'm gonna have to take lots of before and afters of this room. Although that being said, this bath, oh my word, the biggest bathtub in my life. Like literally, it's this really weird shape. It's like a kind of bean in the corner. Can you see that? Which yes, does look very weird, especially because it's like a corner bath. But when I tell you it is the biggest bathtub I've ever sat in my entire life, I'm not joking. It feels more like you're sitting in a jacuzzi because you've got the kind of like two rounded edges. You can sit cross-legged without each knee touching the sides. 
or at least I can, which means Alex is gonna fit in this bath. I definitely wanna run him a bath because I think he will really, really enjoy it. And I can literally stretch out. I can like lean against the side, I can put my legs out. Oh my word, I'm really gonna miss this bath when it goes. But to be fair, to replace this for a roll top, I feel like it's no competition. I'm gonna absolutely love having a roll top bath. I think this is gonna be a room I'm gonna have a lot of fun with. And I won't like, I can't wait to start making plans to this room, but for now, we're just gonna leave it as is. It does exactly what it says on the tin. It is a functional bathroom and it is all we need for now, but I think this is gonna be a room that I can have a lot of fun with. So I'm gonna get my makeup off now. I am obsessed at the moment with Bioma Melting Balm Cleanser and I feel like the name is exactly what it is. This literally melts away your makeup. It feels so dewy and so of rewarding when you take your makeup off with this at the end of the day it literally just melts away i love it so so much so if you're looking for something hydrating and like a really enjoyable cleanser to use i would definitely recommend the biome i actually picked this up um i got sent this from space nk and it's definitely one i'm going to have to repurchase which i feel like says a lot because i'm lucky enough in this industry to try a lot of different cleansers and a lot of different types of cleansers and a balm cleanser is always my favorite because i just I hate to say it, but the greasier the better for me. I love like a greasy cleanse that just really gets into your pores and melts away your makeup. And this, I think it is safe to say, has been one of my favorite balm cleansers I have ever, ever tried. So I'm gonna get my makeup off. I'm gonna get into my comfies and I'm gonna enjoy an evening on the sofa scrolling through Pinterest. I mean, that is literally my ideal evening. What could be better? So I'm gonna leave this vlog here. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, seeing all of the new house plans. If you got to the end of this video, comment down below house plans because I would love to know if you got to the end and I hope you're excited to see all of the updates, all the changes, everything that's happening with the house. I just want to say actually quickly, such a huge thank you for you guys because sometimes showing these things you can worry that you're like, I don't know, just being a bit like tasteless and actually your guys' response, like the fact that you can just like feel the palpable energy of mine and Alex's excitement in this new house, the fact that you're coming on this journey with us, it just means the world. So I'm so, so excited to take you on the journey even more. I hope you've been enjoying the vlog so far and I promise you there are gonna be lots more coming. So I really hope you guys enjoyed a bit of a house update, a vlog and I will see you in the next one. Bye.